Kathy, the audiobook comic. May I see Kathy today, Mrs. Smith? Yes, Joey, she's in the backyard. Don't stay too long. She's very weak. Okay, I promise. Hi, Kathy. Is all your hair gone? Yes, the medicine made it fly away. Are you going to die? Uh-huh. And then I'll fly away, too. It is appointed unto man once to die, but after this, the judgment. Are you afraid? No. Where will you go? I'm going to heaven. Jesus is waiting for me. It'll be wonderful, because Jesus loves me. He loves you, too, Joy. He loves all of us. Jesus loves all of us. Even me? Yes. And he wants you to come to heaven and be with us forever. Wow, but I don't know him. Jesus knows all about you, Joey. Would you like to meet him? He's wonderful. Yes. Jesus is the most important person there is. And he's my best friend. In fact, he sent you to my house today. He wants me to tell you about him and what he did for you. Jesus is the most powerful and richest person in the universe, and he loves you and wants to be your friend for life and even forever. So listen good. Joey, Jesus is the one who made everything, and everything belongs to him. Jesus made the stars, the sun and moon, the earth, and trees, flowers, and all the animals, and Jesus created us to be his friends. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. Kathy, is Jesus God? He sure is. And he loves me? He sure does, Joey. Let me finish, Joey. The people he created became naughty and nasty. They turned against God. That's called sin. Everyone lied and cheated. They hated each other, so the door to heaven was shut against them until Jesus made a way. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. It's very important that you understand this story, Joey. First, the bad news. Those who call this crazy end up in an awful place called hell when they die. But here is the good news. Jesus did something for us so we would never, we could be with him in heaven forever. Listen real good because this is a true story and you have to make a choice. Joey, there are three parts to our God. All three make up one true God who rules the universe. God the Father, no one can see him and live. God the Son, Jesus, he became a man. And God, the Holy Ghost, he's a spirit. Jesus was sent to our planet to be the one who would make us fit for heaven. A young Jewish lady who was a virgin and loved God was chosen as the one to give birth to Jesus. The Holy Ghost came upon Mary and put a baby inside her, and the baby Jesus was born. God's Son was on earth with us. Nobody is good enough for heaven. We are all dirty with sin. Dirty thoughts, gossip, hate, lies, revenge, and cruelty. So Jesus came to clean us up because sin is not allowed in heaven. Jesus was the only one who lived a perfect life because he never sinned. He taught the people to love their enemies and forgive others. But he also came to wash away their dirty sins. Jesus told the people he had come from heaven that he was the Son of God. Some laughed at him. They don't didn't believe him. But when Jesus said these words, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man can come into the Father but by me. The religious leaders wanted to kill him because he claimed to be the only way to heaven. So how could Jesus wash away our sins, Kathy? Only God's sinless blood washes away sin, Joey. And the only one 
who had God's holy blood was Jesus. The punishment for sin is death in hell. So God's sinless son, Jesus, died for us. So we wouldn't have to go there. They arrested him and hurt Jesus real bad. And they made him bleed. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. They hung Jesus on a cross. It was a terrible way to die. But he did this to get us into heaven. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. He shed his blood to wash away our sins. He died in our place and was buried. Three days later, he arose from the dead and went back to heaven. He did that for you. Wow! Jesus did all that for me. He did that for everyone. Did you believe what I told you, Joy? Yes, Kathy. Every word. Then here's what you must do. Pray to Jesus and tell him that you're a sinner and ask him to forgive you. Tell him that you believe that he came to die in your place for your sins. Believe he rose from the dead and ask him to come into your heart and save you. Joey did, and something happened, something wonderful. Why do I feel so different, Kathy? Because your sins are gone, and Jesus came to live in you, just like you asked. Your heart is going home. Now, you belong to Jesus, and now he's your friend. And you're not going to hell, Joey, because Jesus saved you. Joey, it's time you went home. Kathy has to take her pain medicine now. Okay, Mrs. Smith. I had a great time with her. Thank you. Pray for her, Joey. I will. I promise. Kathy's back in the hospital. She's got pneumonia again in both lungs. Oh, dear. We're so sorry, Esther. Kathy wants your son to know that she has a present for him. 2.30 a.m. Jesus, you came for me. We're going home. She's gone, but look at her beautiful smile. Little Kathy flew away with her Jesus. One week later. Joey, here's Kathy's present. It's her Bible. Well, thank you very much. There's something Kathy wants you to do for her. What's that, Mrs. Smith? Promise to tell all the little kids what she told you, because they've got to know that Jesus loves them and wants to live in their hearts and take them to heaven. I promise I will. Let your friends see this so they can go to heaven too. I want to miss hell. Yes, no. I want my sins forgiven. Yes, no. I believe the Lord Jesus died for my sins. Yes, no. Folks, God bless you. Next time you get a chance, be sure you do something kind for a little child that's suffering. Peace to you all. Bye for now.